So I started playing basketball when I was like four or five. My dad put me in a, a San Antonio Spurs Youth League basketball, um, and he was the coach for that team. And, you know, it was fun. You know, the, the goals weren't as high as they are now. You know, they were smaller goals. And I want to say about, you know, sixth grade uh, is when I started playing organized, like travel ball. And that's when it started getting serious. You know, you're walking in the gyms and you see college coaches on the baseline and stuff. And really my dad introducing us to sports was a way for, you know, us to, you know, stay out of trouble and, and you know, find stuff to do. And he, he's done a really good job of uh, coaching us and, and molding us into the people that we are. My dad was my coach for, I want to say three or four years. And then by my sixth grade year, he, he knew it was time to, to give me up and, you know, get onto the big leagues. He's still my coach today, you know, it's just, you know, from a distance. Um, he, he calls me after every game, before every game. Uh, we talk still uh, almost every day. He's my, my biggest fan and my biggest critic, and I wouldn't want it any other way. I saw Kate at one of my games in, in Dallas, Texas. I, I saw the Stanford across her chest, and I was like, wow, Stanford. She was at the game. Obviously, I didn't know she was there watching me at the time. Um, but I remember, you know, just walking into the gym and, and uh, just seeing, you know, wow, Stanford, Stanford's at the game. I need to play well. I won't ever forget the day. Um, I was in pre-cal class, and Tara called me. and. You know, you're not supposed to be on your phone, but I'm like, this is Tara Vandiver. I asked my teacher if I could step in the hallway. And she, she said, congratulations, Kiana. And I'm like, what? what? Uh, and she's like, you got accepted. And I, you know, I just like kind of broke down in, in tears uh, for a little bit. And then I, you know, I had to tell her I was in class and she hurried up and got off the phone. Um, and then after that class, you know, I, I called my dad, called my mom, and you know, it was just a, a moment of relief for me um, because you know we ultimately knew I, I was going to come here once I got accepted. To be at a, a place like Stanford, um, it's it's extremely a blessing and a great feeling. I have a lot of nieces and one nephew, and just you know, for them to say that their aunt went to Stanford, graduated from Stanford, I want them to know that they can do the same thing. You know. It doesn't have to be Stanford, but you know, you can go to college and you know, you can do what you put your mind to and, and work hard and, and, and get those things done. When Tara first told us that the 2020 NCAA tournament had got canceled, I, I just immediately felt bad for our, for our seniors. You know, my heart was broken. I was really, you know, looking forward to them, you know, having one final tournament run. I remember meeting in the locker room and just hugging everyone and, you know, wondering when will we be back. You know, I had my fingers crossed the entire time. You know, we didn't get word that we were coming back to campus until September. So when, when Tara gave us the, the green light, you know, I booked my flight and packed my bag. I was ready to get back and get to work. There were some nerves, you know. Obviously, we would be playing basketball during a pandemic. I guess just for me being a senior, just, you know, realizing that, you know, this is my last year. That this is, I got to give it a try. I got to give it a shot. Off the court, I've really been challenged because, you know, we were, uh, you know, during nine weeks living out of a hotel. So uh, me, Anna and Alyssa, you know, I think we did a pretty, pretty decent job of checking in on our, our younger players because, you know, they they had no idea. You know, they some of them have never even, you know, like lived out of a hotel like that. We played our first game here and we obviously we saw all the cutouts, but uh, you know, we had been playing in Santa Cruz for a few games and there was nothing in the stands. And then I think it was the UCLA game, you know, we walk in, you know, you see your family members and you know, I just got a little bit emotional. You know, I, I know they're, obviously I know they're watching, but you know, just seeing a face there, it, it means, it feels a little bit different. So yeah, I got a little emotional and uh, took a picture with them, but yeah, that was, it was nice seeing them. It's nice having them in the stands. Winning the, the Pac-12 uh, championship this year was, you know, was the cherry on top. It's been a really, really hard year, but I think um, just us going through those tough times, you know, it made us mentally tougher, physically tougher. Maybe a few years, from, few years down the road, it really hit me. But you know, just in the moment, I'm just like, uh, I'm really like, you know, wow, I'm a part of this. It's, it's this is pretty neat. It's just been a, a extreme blessing, you know, coming here, playing for Tara. Uh, witnessing her, you know, being in the game that she she broke Pat Summons' record. All in on three, one, two, three. All in. San Antonio. Um, it's a, it's a slower city. It's a great city to, to raise a family in. It's where I'd say 90% of my family lives uh, today. The sports there are really starting to, to blow up, especially for uh, girls basketball. Kiana, as a freshman, I'd say she was skinny, shy and you know just trying to find her way trying to find her place um you know just moved you know three states over and then you know fast forward four years later kiana's a senior she's a she's still skinny a lot more confident a lot more vocal you know just a, a leader a winner 
Uh, that's when I, when I leave this program, I want, you know, when people say Keanu Williams, I want to say she was a great leader, she was a winner, and um, she was a great role model.